Hello there, Dustin over at Camping World in Conway. We're doing a quick walkthrough of the 2023 Salem Hemisphere 369BL. Mid-bunk floor plan through them. You might be uh, more familiar with their sister brand, the, the Heritage Glen. Um, very similar, they're, they're made in the same factories. They just do a, a different color scheme with the Heritage Glen line being a bit darker usually. Let's start off at the, the front here where you do have a molded fiberglass front cap. I know you can't see much of it with the, the angle there. Underneath, you're gonna have a little bit of wet storage. Uh, two battery boxes uh, come equipped with the coach. Of course, with your spare tire there. Onto the door side, and we'll work our way around. You do have outdoor speakers equipped on the coach next to the, the party setter, I should say. A good amount of storage on the uh, basement here. You do have a couple electronics. You got your solar charge controller. All of these are prepped with um, uh, solar prep. All you got to do is throw the panels on there. Uh, battery disconnect right next to that. And then your handy dandy beverage opener right there. There's a couple more on the other side we'll, we'll get to in a moment. This is all heated space as well. Um, so you don't have to worry about... Uh, uh, water lines freezing up in inclement weather. You do have a heat line down there. A little outdoor kitchen they give you, so a little griddle, mini fridge. You do get some form of light out here, and they do have a water line close to us as well, uh, so you can spray out dishes and such. 110 power out here, as well as a cable out, in case you want to throw a TV out and enjoy under the awning. Speaking of awnings, you got two on the coach. There's your main awning, I believe 17 foot uh, LED strip underneath there. And then on the door side slide out, you're going to have another auxiliary awning, I believe 11 foot off the top of my head. Underneath, I know it's kind of hard to see, but you do have aluminum, aluminum wheels and they are Goodyear Endurance uh, on for rubber right now. A lot of times you would see uh, like a China brand that, that didn't have a great uh, reputation. Good year's the way to go. It's usually what people switch right to. And of course, nice big windows. They are tinted from the outside, so you can't see right in. It's not like a fishbowl. Ladder up to the back, fully walkable roof on the coach. There is a accessory rack if you want to add one. It's good for about 300 pounds. And your backup camera prep right at the top. Probably wouldn't do you much good if it's sitting at a campsite, but maybe security or something like that. On to the, the not so fun side of the coach, the off door side. Let's get to the center. There's a couple things to show you out here. There's your 50 amp supply in between two of the slide outs. Get a better view of those tires right there. Uh, six point leveling system on this and your sewer dump is just gonna be a, a one line dump, so you don't need a Y pipe or anything like that. Underneath your slide mechanism, they're all worm driven slides, they're tried and true. And move on down the line here. Hot water heater access is gonna be on the off door side, as well as your furnace exhaust right there, so it's not gonna be under your awning right in your face if you're, if you're out there. A uh, 10 gallon hot water heater on this, so a little bit bigger than the, the standard sixes I see in a lot of brands. And let's get into the hookup center over here. So you do have a little outdoor shower, uh, black tank flush, and then your water connections are gonna be right there. You do have a winterization port here as well, and a hot water heater bypass to make things a little bit easier for winterization. And you have your uh, cable hookups right to the side there. Nice little port to bring in all your water lines. And over on this end here, we do have our leveling controls. So LCI electronic leveling. Um, a lot of fifth wheels are running this brand now. Um, pretty tried and true. One touch, it'll level it for you. It has hitch height memory uh, if you need to hook it back up to your truck too. Let's move around and get to the fun part here. All right, so we do have the solid entry steps, um, nice and wide, They're solid compared to the old school steps for sure. Uh, nice big grab handle here as well. 
and head on in. Here's the living area of the coach. Get a good shot from the back here. So let's start off in the back and, and work our way forward here. So you do have your, your sofa right towards the back. That'll uh, uh, expand out to uh, another sleeper sofa or a sleeping area, I should say. You do have 110 power on both sides, as well as a USB outlet on both sides as well. Some nice overhead lighting here. And up above that, you're going to have some deep storage up top. Definitely a little high to get to, but it is there and it's good storage. Uh, nice big picture windows on all sides. They actually, um, most of them actually open too. A lot of times you'll see, you know, a giant picture window like that and it's just a picture window. You, you, there's no opening to it whatsoever. Um, on the shades, it is a blackout shade. There is not a day-night shade on the hemispheres here. Moving down the line a little bit, underneath or next to the sofa, I should say, you do got a little bit of underneath storage as well. It goes pretty deep to the back wall there. Nothing in the way, so a uh, good little hidey hole down there. You got the Thomas Paine recliner set off to the side, so right in front of the TV there. There should be a little rip cord in the corner so you can recline it. Nice little hidey hole for the remotes. There is a USB charger in there too. And then, of course, the uh, uh, the lighted cup holders here, they'll light up and, and see where you put your drink at night. Again, nice big picture windows on the, uh, the door side slide out here. You do have uh, four chairs and a, a full-size table. There is a leaf on the table if you need to extend it. The table I will be installed upon sale, of course, it, uh, it had a warranty issue with it, so we're getting it replaced, so... Take that with a grain of salt there. And on the slide outs, they've switched it all out. There's no carpet in the rig anymore. It's almost like what you would see on a boat, like a woven woven rug sort of sort of idea. Head on into the, the kitchen area here. But before I do, I'd like to make a quick pit stop. There's your uh, uh, control board for the coach. So water pump and heater. Uh, you do have tank heaters equipped on this, so inclement weather, you can flip those on, give you a little bit more of a buffer for uh, freezing lines and such. Um, you have your two thermostats here, so two air conditioners equipped on the coach. One's going to run your main back here and then your, uh, your bedroom as well. And then in here, they got quite a nice uh, pantry setup. It is on a motion light, so you can see where you're getting at. But huge full-size pantry I'll give you an idea of depth that's about half an arm length for me and then a nice storage drawer down underneath so you won't run out of that up above yeah nice little hidey hole too above that pantry onto the kitchen end of it here so you got your double door fury and fridge Oop. i should probably unlock it before opening it but you got your two sides, so your freezer end and your fridge end here. Uh, plenty of space. I, I forget the cubic footage off the top of my head, but bigger than the one I got at my house. A um, little wine rack above that, or maybe like a, a spice rack or something, but a little bit of storage up above there. And onto the, the cooking area, you got your three burner Fury and cooktop. The glass overlay will just fold back like that, giving you your cooking surface. There is a Fury and range hood with a light and a vent. A little microwave right up top there. And then our oven itself underneath. They give you a nice little pots and pans drawer too right under there for storage. A little bit of prep space right next to that. And then I got three full extension drawers here. That one's pretty deep. Same as that. 110 power right next to there, so you can plug stuff in. And a nice little storage cabinet up above next to the microwave. There's a breakdown on the, the solar, so you can see what kind of connections are up there and everything. Let's keep on moving. So, pretty good size TV. 
right on the slide out there. Underneath that, you got a Fury and Sound Bar. Some good storage underneath that for DVDs or devices or something of the sort. Now, I I might be stood corrected when I when I look deeper into this, but uh, this sound bar should also pair to outside too. So if you wanted to to run your outdoor speakers with what's playing, you should be able to do that. Underneath there, I got a mirrored finish fireplace here. Uh, it's good for about 5,000 BTU. It, it won't heat your whole camper, of course, but it's it's another form of heat if you have electricity at your campsite. Um, it's, it's a nice little addition. Onto the the island here. Actually, a pretty good size metal sink. Um, fairly deep, single bay, uh, plenty of space. They do give you this nice little dish rack here. It kind of fits right in and Almost works as like a drying rack. Underneath the sink, a nice little spot for a trash can, a little bit of storage under there. And then we have a couple little nooks right by the side. Heat vent right off the island there. And then we have a couple outlets on the other side. So there's plenty of power around the coach. Right underneath here, they give you your CO2 monitor and a nice little addition to the, to the countertop there. Let's keep on moving forward. So we're into the, the mid bunk is what they call it. Um, nice setup comparative to what I've seen. Sometimes I've seen a more set up office like, um, sometimes more bedroom like. I think it's a, a good mix of both in here. So you got the, the Versa sofa right there. That'll actually fold out to a full-size queen bed uh, if needed. And then your, your top bunk, of course. If not needed, you can flip it up and uh, uh, get a little bit more head height for the couch there. Onto the other side, they give you a little spot for a TV or a computer, maybe a desk space or something. Uh, full-size wardrobe in here as well. And then a couple pull out drawers underneath there that are pretty pretty deep pretty good size there is air conditioning ducted into the room so you're not gonna uh, uh, turn this into a heat box per se and there is a, a heat return as well head on upstairs here so up above the loft you got this nice little bunk area so extra sleeping if you're using it for that. Um, pretty good storage if not. There is a little hidey hole in the corner there. I'm not sure if you can see. And of course, there's there's vents right to it. So again, they're making sure that the airflow stays uh, the same throughout the coach. Another one of those door side windows there. Head on into the restroom. I'll try and find the light in here. There we go. So we got our single sink. It is kind of tiny. I'll give you a point of reference. I got a couple hands in there, but that's about it. A little medicine cabinet up above that. You do have your uh, Max Air controller right here. That'll do the bathroom vent. And of course, power in the bathroom here. A little bit of storage underneath the sink there, maybe for some linens. And then a spot for a little trash can, your toilet paper holder. Again, some more good storage to the side of the shower, too. So that goes really far back. Um, probably good for towels or something like that. I got one more down on the bottom end, too. Not quite as deep. So the shower stall, I think they do a good job with their showers here. So, of course, the arched roof makes a difference for that little bit of extra height, being on the, the tall part of the fifth wheel. And... You know, their shower basins are quite wide compared to some brands, too. I mean, of course, now and I got plenty of space on both ends to, to maneuver around. Um, it's a, a, a one-piece shower, so there's no splits in it. It's not going to leak on you. Uh, there is a nice little seat in the corner there if you want to sit down. And a skylight up above, so you're not going to smack your head. Uh, porcelain toilet in the coach. I know sometimes they'll go for plastic, and it just doesn't hold up the same sometimes. And let's get into the master here. 
All right, so light controls, slide controls. You do have outlets, again, on both ends of the bed. So you can actually plug stuff in and be a human still. Um, both windows will actually open so you can get a cross breeze. And they got nice little night lights up above the, the bed here. Um, it, it looks to me like a queen size bed in here, but I'll, I'll pull specs and, and make sure that I'm not lying to you. Uh, opposite side of that, you got a TV right in front of the bed. Your cable hookups are right there. You got three full extension drawers right underneath that. Cool little bench here. I'll just sit and get dressed in the morning or drink your coffee and, and watch the world go by. Uh, you do have a really nice wardrobe in the front too. So slide that open. You're going to have your uh, washer dryer hook up if you so choose um, you can put a stackable in here so it doesn't need to be a combo it doesn't look like but again take it with a grain of salt you can get to the other end here too sorry for the bad angle on this end they give you more of a, a wardrobe sort of style so you got a handful of shelves in the back and a nice hanging rod right here that goes the whole length so i think that about wraps up the tour of course uh, as always if i had missed anything don't hesitate to reach out and, and let me know I'm, I'm happy to dive deeper um destin over at camping world and the best way to reach me is right in the office at 603-333-1520 hopes this helps talk soon thank you